Um, this is EP Physics C, I believe, 2007 M3. Uh, the apparatus above is used to study conservation of mechanical energy. A spring is a force constant uh, 40 newtons per meter is held horizontal over a horizontal air track with one end attached to the air track. A light string is attached to the other end of the spring and connects to the glider of mass M. The glider is pulled to stretch the spring an amount of X from its equilibrium and then released. Before reaching the photo gauge, so here is the photo gauge, uh, the glider attains a maximum speed and string becomes slack. The photo gauge measures the time t that it takes to that it takes the small block on top of the glider to pass through and information about the about the distance x and the speed velocity of the glider uh, passing through the photo gauge is given below. So for A they ask, um, assuming no energy is lost, write the equation for conservation of mechanical energy that would apply to this situation. Um, so for A I could say I have potential energy of the spring when we stretch the mass go into the kinetic energy of the block when it passes over the photo gauge or photo gate. Um, so I have one half kx squared is equal to one half mv squared and v is the maximum velocity of the mass when it passes photo gate. I'm going to simplify this equation just because I want you to see something special in this equation. Um, so I have k x if I if I could times both sides by two, I have k x squared is equal to m v squared. If I solve this for v, if I say v squared is equal to, I have k over m x squared. And I'm going to transfer this equation to the graph that is asked in B. So V squared is equal to K over M X squared. So on the grid below, plot V squared over X squared. Label the axis including the units and scale. So I'm going to use this table for my x squared and y squared to plug in into um, the graph. And when the graph is ready, I'm going to come back and show you the graph. So I plugged in the numbers from the graph that is given. I chose um, the green part right here for x squared and uh, v squared. I plug in the numbers and I put the uh, plot at the line that is um, the closest to those points. I want to look at this graph for a minute and talk about it because um, there's something in this graph that they use almost in every single AP exam question. So this part is v squared, it's your y, and this one is x squared, which is your x. So if I say y is equal to mx, then your slope then this becomes your slope. So if this equation would be y is equal to, so if this is your y, v squared is your y, and if x squared is your x, and you have a straight line, so your, um, your math, your m, the slope, let me write it right here, um, the slope m is equal to k, over, in this case, it's mass. So if I figure out here, 
Let me show you what they show you in um, C, in D. Oh, actually, it's still um, C. Use the best fit line, so we did put the line, to obtain the mass of the glider. So if I go back right here, I'm gonna figure out what the mass is equal to, and K is given 40, right? K is given 40 in the equation, 40 newtons per meter. Um, so I have to figure out what the slope is. The slope is, you can go that, uh, horizontally and then vertically, or vertically and horizontally. I'm just gonna go this way so I have more space on the other side to write. So this is my rise over the run. So the slope in this case is equal to the rise. Let's look right here. Um, 4.8 and 0.22. So if I look at those two points, that gives me 4.8 minus 0.22 gives me 458. So that is 458. And my x squared goes between 0 0.09 and 2.3. So that gives me 221, but it is um, 10 to the negative 2. Now, if I plug in all these numbers to calculate, I get, so I calculated the number and it gives me um, 207.2. So I'm just going to leave it 207. So the slope of my graph is 207. So I can plug in it into the slope. So that is 207 is equal to 40. Divided by the mass. So the mass is equal to 40 divided by that number 207. So 40 divided by 207 gives me almost 0.2 kilogram. And again, you will see a lot of questions on AP exam where they will give you the graph that doesn't make any sense, you haven't ever seen in the classroom, um, but you have to use to answer the question, and it's usually related to the equation that you find, the equation that you find, and the slope of that equation. So for T part, they, um, they lifted the track at, under an angle of theta. So let's say before I had my block over here. So this was the original position. Now they lifted the truck under an angle theta. And so that means this part went up by the distance h, some distance h. Now if the truck, if the mass is over here, and then I stretch it a re uh, more by x, then if I look at this part, this is where my block is going to be. So if this part is x, if this part is x, and this part, this angle is theta, then this is x sine theta. So the total distance, the total distance at which the mass is being raised after it's being stretched is h plus x sine theta. So now I have to... Um, rewrite the energy for I have to rewrite the energy for this case so the total potential energy of the spring and so I have potential energy of the spring and potential energy gravitational together will go into the kinetic energy when it passes over the gate uh, for the gate. It's the kinetic energy of the block. So potential energy of the spring is one half kx squared plus potential energy is mg and the height at which the block is being raised. So that is some height h plus um, x sine theta and that is equal to one half 
m v squared. So the solution for part D, the final solution would be one half k x squared plus m g h plus x sine theta equals to one half m v squared. And they don't ask you to solve for anything, they just write, ask you to write the, the conservation of energy equation. So initial mechanical energy is equal to the final mechanical energy, the total energy of the system.